Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin no longer under investigation in hazardous materials warehouse case. Tesla Cybertruck spotted with wrap that makes it look like a Ford F-150. Tesla Cybertruck to use battery cells with 10% higher energy density. And Tesla opens up new financing term option for EV customers. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The prosecutor's office closed the investigation against those responsible at Tesla Giga Berlin on suspicion of unauthorized operation of a warehouse of hazardous materials. The circumstances of the violation make it possible to close the case if compensation for it is paid on time. In August 2022, the State Office for the Environment opened a criminal case against Tesla at the prosecutor's office in Frankfurt and Der Oder. It was suspected of unauthorized operation of a storage facility for hazardous materials. Since then, six individuals potentially responsible have been investigated. The investigations were carried out by Potsdam, where all cases of serious economic and environmental crimes in the state of Brandenburg are considered. As a result of the investigation, the proceedings of the five defendants were completely terminated due to insufficient suspicion, RBB reports. The position regarding the other suspect was still preliminary, since she has a chance to pay a fine. According to the investigation, this person arranged the use of a temporary warehouse of hazardous materials. The representative of the prosecutor's office stated that if payment of a fine is made on time, the criminal case against this person will be finally terminated. The prosecutor's office stated that the decisive factor for the dismissal of the case was that the use of the hazardous materials warehouse was planned only in the short term and that no particular danger to the environment had occurred or was expected. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck spotted with wrap that makes it look like a Ford F-150. A picture of a Tesla Cybertruck with a wrap that makes it look like a Ford F-150 has leaked from a Tesla shop. It looks like Tesla is trolling, but more importantly, the picture raises questions about the Cybertruck's frunk. Lately, we have seen several Tesla Cybertruck prototypes with wraps driving in California. The automaker appears to either be hiding its Cybertruck release candidates or testing wraps on its electric trucks or both. But now a Cybertruck with a more, let's say creative wrap, has leaked from a Tesla shop. Gregor Truck shared the picture on Twitter. After the first two Cybertrucks spotted with wraps were camouflaged, Tesla appears to be trolling by making the truck look like a regular pickup truck. Tesla CEO Elon Musk famously said that pickup trucks, like the F-150, are boring looking since pickup truck designs haven't changed in 30 years. The automaker is likely going to test this release candidate on the roads and it is going to make people talk, which is likely the goal here. But the leaked picture is potentially more interesting for the best look under the hood of the Cybertruck yet. It raised doubts about the Cybertruck having a front truck, frunk, at all. It's possible that the liner is just not installed and the Cybertruck does have a frunk, but it looks like it would be fairly small if it does. It would be the first Tesla vehicle without a frunk if it turns out to be the case. Frunks are also believed to be more valuable in electric pickup trucks rather than in regular passenger electric cars since they have beds instead of trunks. In the case of the Cybertruck, it's not too bad since it has a closed bed, but it could still be nice to have access to a separate enclosed area. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck to use battery cells with 10% higher energy density. Tesla Cybertruck will be produced with improved battery cells. According to the company, Cybercell will have 10% more energy density than those currently being produced for Model Y. Cybertruck is a hotly anticipated product from the company. According to unofficial data, Tesla has received more than 1.9 million pre-orders for the pickup truck. This shows a huge interest from consumers. That is why every bit of information about Cybertruck is very important. During the recent Q2 2023 earnings call, the company gave an update on the truck. 
Tesla has revealed that Cybertruck will be equipped with new battery cells. Although these are still 4680s, they are vast improvements over the past. These battery cells are designed specifically for Cybertruck and will have an energy density 10% higher than current products. At the same time, Cybercell meets Tesla's expectations regarding electrochemistry. The company has yet to integrate silicon and its own cathode manufacturing, which will significantly increase energy density and cost. The company said this was achieved through process optimization and mechanical design. As the production of cyber cells ramps up towards the end of the year and early next, Tesla should reach a comfortable cost per cell level. Here in Texas, we're preparing to launch our Cybertruck cell, which is 10% higher energy density than current production. That was accomplished through process and mechanical design optimization. As we scale cyber cell production through the end of the year and early next, we should be in a comfortable place on cost per cell, Tesla said. Moving to the last update, Tesla opens up new financing term option for EV customers. Tesla has opened up a new financing term option for EV customers with an 84-month term, extending the payoff period for vehicle owners that wish for more financial flexibility. The automaker opened the 84-month financing term recently. Previously, Tesla offered 36, 48, 60, and 72-month financing terms for those who were planning to buy their cars. Auto loan terms are truly up to the buyer, and they all offer certain advantages. However, the longer the loan term, the more expensive it will be, because of interest accrued over the life of the loan. Bankrate also says that a longer-term loan will lead to more depreciation, as you lose 20% or more in the first year and 60% by the fifth year. The move by Tesla could help the automaker increase demand levels, as some who are interested in the company's vehicles might be slightly cash-strapped. The new financing option will decrease monthly car payment amounts, making it easier to afford the vehicle and can help Tesla at the same time by making the cars more affordable. While orders for the company's vehicles may be up moving into Q3, with moves like this and with the full self-driving transfer policy, Tesla said, production will be slightly lower in the quarter due to widespread factory upgrades. CEO Elon Musk said the following during the recent earnings call. We expect that Q3 production will be a little bit down because we've got summer shutdowns too for a lot of factory upgrades. So, just probably a slight decrease in production in Q3 for sort of global factory upgrades. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.